Now that we have our elements sorted, I'm going to show you the three ways you can form a chemical bond. First, in the case of sodium and fluorine, we can take these two empty spots. Remember, fluorine's trying to get eight electrons on the outside. Sodium's trying to fill that first ring of the two electrons. So that bond can be shown like this, making sodium fluorine. The second type of bond we can make is when we have an element with two electrons and an element that has six. We'll slide the oxygen under the calcium and just like that, we have calcium oxide. Calcium has its two electrons and oxygen has its eight now. Now remember, we're only talking about the electrons on the outside of the element. Calcium has more than two, oxygen has more than six. We're just talking about the valence electrons, the electrons on the outside. And our third type of bond we can make is if we have a single, actually let's do that. We have a, a double and two singles. Fluorine has seven, it's trying to get to eight. So we can do a combination like this. Now this one fluorine atom now has eight. And this second fluorine atom also now has eight. That is why we needed to cut around our elements. If your elements are not joining, you can always use your scissors as we go and just trim the shape up a little bit. But that's it. Those are the three rules for combining your elements. If you have to do anything else to make your compound work, and it's not one of those three methods, it won't count.